Hello everyone in Cyber World. Welcome back to another video. I'm Jennifer. I'm Richard and this is our channel we call Poor Man's DIY. Due to some popular requests, um, we are going to show you how to engrave these slates into coasters using our Xtool M1. All right, we get a lot of uh, input from uh, viewers and uh, they seem to like how we instruct uh, on how to use uh, the Xtool M1 for various things. And so this time we're gonna show you how uh, we have actually engraved uh, the slate and made uh, coasters out of them. So we're gonna go through the step-by-step -step on that and, to, and show you how we do that. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now we're going to go ahead and set up our X-Tool M1 laser, but before we do that, we're going to use this jig. We had a previous video on how to use this jig, but what it does is we're going to make multiple coasters and they're going to be identical. So let's go ahead and set this up. Now we're going to go ahead and place the blank slate into the jig. For this, we are going to use a photo editing software. If we engraved as is, everything in blue would be scratched out from the slate. So we're gonna use the photo editor to make a clean negative image. To accomplish this, we're going to take everything that's in white, make it black, and everything else is going to be white. We are now going to use Xtool Creative Software to open up the image we created. Note, when this image opens, it's already in a location that I have decided where to place it uh, so that it matches up with our little uh, jig. Uh, in addition, I've adjusted the size and now we're going to go ahead and configure Xtool's Creative Software so that it, uh, it cuts the way that we want it to. For the settings, we are going to use laser flat and for the material, we're going to select a predefined material of rock coasters. When doing so, it will select a predetermined uh, uh, thickness. However, we are going to have to run the auto measure because we have a Lego base on the bottom, which will skew the uh, actual distance. Now this jig is actually set up for six coasters. The only problem with this is depending on how the coaster is set, uh, each coaster takes about 25 minutes. And so if you fill this uh, jig with all six um, slate uh, coasters at once, you're going to have to sit here for, let's see, what is that? About almost two hours uh, just for it to finish. And so instead of doing that, we're gonna do one by one. Now here is a really important note. If you use only one slate at a time, when it goes to me auto measure, the laser is actually going to be uh, focusing uh, probably in the center of the uh, Lego block base. And it's gonna take a measurement from there and not the height of the slate. So what you're going to have to do is place another uh, slate in the center so that it can get an accurate measurement. It's not going to engrave on that one. It's just simply there for measurement purposes. Next, we use the framing feature to ensure the laser is going to be engraving in the area that we want it to. And then we can finally start engraving.
This project was pretty easy. It just takes a lot of time for the laser to go back and forth to engrave on the project. Yeah, that's, as she mentioned, it is it is pretty easy. It's just a, the time consuming part is just sitting around and, and waiting and watching. Uh, we could leave it in and just kind of go off and do other things, but um, we're still want to follow the rules. The rules, general rules are to never leave a laser unattended. So it's just a matter of finding something else to do while the laser is engraving on uh, these coasters. Uh, for next week, um, we're going to try and slip in a very uh, basic build for beginners Me. Um, and so we had a project that we've been asked to do and uh, we're looking forward to that one and hope to show you how that comes out next week so until we meet again bye, -bye. bye.